Welcome to Cleveland. Game one on tap between the Toronto Raptors and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Paul Jones and Sherman Hamilton standing on the floor where tonight the Raptors will go at it with the Cavaliers in game one here at the Q. And Sherm, you look at the Raptors, one and six in their last seven games here in Cleveland. The one game they happened to win, LeBron James didn't play. Well, he'll be playing tonight, that's for sure. But how much better equipped with the addition of P.J. Tucker, and Serge Ibaka is this team as opposed to last year when even last year after getting blown out in the first two they took it to six games. Yeah I think a couple of levels I mean number one you look at the Raptors in terms of the experiences that they gained last season going to the Eastern Conference Finals against the Cleveland Cavaliers you've got to grow from that you've got to mature and understand what it takes to come into this building in the first game and not be ambushed by what they do. The Raptors got jumped in the first game and they didn't recover in the second game and Cleveland handled them easily here at the queue. If you're the Raptors you learn from that you understand that it's got to be more of a concerted effort early in the game to establish yourself and make sure Cleveland doesn't get everything they want easily and your leaders have to do that in Kyle and DeMar but also the core group that was here for that whole series they understand what Cleveland brings at this point of the year and they understand what championship playoff basketball is about so you've got to be prepared mentally then you mentioned the fact that the Raptors made some key additions before the trade deadline and during the trade deadline Serge Ibaka is something the Raptors have needed at that four spot, a big guy who can stretch the floor, he can defend and block shots, but he's kind of got that integrity and that roughness you want in the front court. And then PJ Tucker is all oh man. He goes about it defensively, he gets after you, and he's a guy that they've needed to defend those bigger bodies. You think about the playoffs over the last few years, trying to defend a Paul Pierce, a Joe Johnson, guys like that. Those guys presented a lot of challenges. Well, PJ Tucker physically can stay in the battle against LeBron James. We know LeBron is going to get his yes. numbers and do what he does does but you need a guy who's willing to engage willing to stay in the fight and have no back down in him and PJ Tucker fits the bill Patrick Patterson and Serge Ibaka could easily match up with Channing Fry and Kevin Love something they didn't have the ability to do last year and as Dwayne Casey said and you'll hear it right now you got to be ready to play at 7 o'clock not 7 15 you play against the champions. Uh, they're champions for a reason. You don't forget how to play the way they play. Uh, but we got to come out in the first quarter with the disposition and the mentality that, okay, we're ready to go. Uh, we can't wait and feel the game out. I got to go out here and do my job. I got to go out here and play, try to help my te our team get a win. And that's, a, that's all that matters to me. If we're winning games, no matter how I'm playing, if we're winning games, that's all that really matters to me. And, you know, I'm sure I'm going to play better. I'm gonna, I want to play better. And we're going to play better. You know, it's kind of like that underdog mentality we have. You know, you kind of kind of can see it, you know, when we do, you know, the starting lineups, when they announce it, you know, we, we all come together, you know, um, because it's, it's, it's us versus everybody else as soon as that ball go up. And, you know, we kind of keep that mentality when we go out there. So you can see game one, 7 o'clock on TSN and hear it on the radio side. Sherman and I have the call on TSN 1050.